Andy Scott, a little bit nervy at the end there maybe, but the win's the win and that's what matters. Yeah, that, listen, we've had, a, we've had a massive, massive week and, you know, we've got, we've got seven, eight players, first team players sitting in the stand and we've got uh, a makeshift side, people that are out on their feet and, you know, to, to get a result, any result, you know, another clean sheet, the lads worked their socks off, it wasn't pretty, but it was a game interrupted by injuries and different things that went on. So, you know, I'm actually delighted with the, with the win and I think everyone should be after the week we've had, you know, and, and it was a strange atmosphere around the place. I think, don't think that the injuries helped, but it was very quiet and, you know, obviously we want to try and get the, the crowd going, but at times, you know, we needed the crowd to get behind us as well and, you know, it was a little bit tense at the end, which you're going to be, you know, they, they're going to lump the ball forward, but, you know, given the effort we put in this week, it's, it's been an absolutely fantastic week for this football club. And, you know, with the amount of injuries we've got and the, and the key players out, it's a terrific effort. So I'm, I'm delighted and I'm delighted. And I think everyone, when they go away from it, be disappointed that we didn't play even better and score more goals. But, uh, you know, sometimes you just got to grind out results and, and that's what we did. And it is vital to keep the, the confidence that's building around the club and, and the good run that's building here as well with the results. Yeah, you've got to win games different ways and, um, you know, you can't you know, be free scoring all the time. You know, we had, we had a few chances, um, but, you know, we, we, we were tired. You know, they didn't have a game midweek. They didn't have a game last Saturday. You know, they, they've had a lot of time to build up to this game where we've been, you know, massive game on Sunday and the efforts we put in there. Then we've travelled to Kidderminster, a huge effort there, and travelled back and got back late on, on Thursday morning. So, you know, I think you've got to give the lads all the credit. Absolutely terrific effort. They're desperate to win games. Um, and all the hard work they put in training is, is, is paying off and there's, there's a real togetherness and a, and a desire to make sure that they get the results. So, um, you know, we're really, really pleased with the win and um, you know, hopefully that gives us a bit of a breathing space to get a few more players back from injury. Because you look in the director's box and there's the makings of a pretty good side sitting watching the game this afternoon. Is that in, uh, you know, we, we talked about consistency and getting key players on the pitch and, and you look up in the stand and, you know, a lot of those players that have done so well for us are sitting there watching it. Um, but, you know, Nabby's come in midfield today, made his full debut and, and, and was really good and worked ever so hard. We've got Sam out in the right back. Um, you know, Dan Ullman's filled in the last two games at central midfield. But what, a, you know, what an effort from him. You know, he scored the winner, he worked so hard for the team. You know, and, and you know, people like Andre um, haven't trained, you know, full, you know, the, the intensity that, that he has for a while, and he, had, he was suffering from the effects of the game on Wednesday, as was Brett. You know, we had some people digging in for us today. Um, I think if people realise what state people were in yesterday, you know, we trained with virtually no one yesterday. So to be able to get a team out of the pitch and get a result with a clean sheet, you know, we just got to take that and, and move on. And. Well, you've already said it, but what else can you say about Dan Holman? He's another goal, work rate, the, just the intelligence, the movement. He, yeah, you, you know what? He, he's an honest boy. You know, he, he he loves playing football. You know, he could quite easily be staying at Colchester and playing under 21s and be a professional football. He wants to play football. You know, and that shows the maturity. He's, he's a clever boy. Dan Arf would work hard. I mean, he's a physical specimen, and um, you know, I think to be honest, like I think. You know he scored. He scored a couple of goals now. He's been involved in assists for you know a lot of the goals. <laughs> you know he's been a major turning point. You know he's very similar to to what we had with Aidan O'Brien last year. That catalyst to get us moving. I think everyone's sparked off that, and the energy that we've got in our game now is everyone you know buying into what we want to do. And, and we look a good side when we do. You know the first 20, 25 minutes we were all over them. You know and we moved the ball well. Then the, the first injury and a little bit of time and it just slowed things down and we couldn't get a foothold in the game and it was a little bit scrappy after that. But you know the goal was you know typical Dan. He was in the right place and he, he wants to score goals. Um, but you know it, he's, there's no moaning at all about him playing different positions. He, he thinks every position he plays is an opportunity to go and score a goal from a different position. So fantastic, absolutely fantastic effort by all of them. But you know he's he's been. Absolute inspiration for the for, for us and the players, and you know we're desperate to hold on to. Him. Are you tempted maybe to tell him to calm down a little bit and not be quite so good because Colchester yeah. will definitely want him back. Well, you know, in fairness to them, they've got they've got a couple of good centre forwards themselves, and um, you know, for as long as we have Dan, you know that that's going to be massive for us. You know, the cup run enables us to do that. You know, 
we were obviously looking to get players out so we could bring players in, but the cup rounds enabled us to keep the players, which is vital that we did that because if the players had gone out on loan, we would be struggling to put a side out at all. So, you know, the, the cup run has been fantastic, but it's it's grown the confidence in the group and. Uh, it's exactly what we wanted and exactly what we hoped for from it, that, that it's inspired us to go into the league and, and, and get some results. And Griffith's injury, we hope it's not serious, unfortunately it looks like it may have been as he went off to hospital. It, yeah. It's difficult to maintain focus after something like that, I suppose. Yeah, it's tough, you know, obviously he's gone up with Joe and um, you know he's landed, he's out before he's, the lads were concerned about him, got, you know, I think the, our medical lads, you know, they were practicing putting people in neck braces before the game. Really strange that that happened, but they were on, and it, but it does. It's you know it puts things in perspective when you know, a boy is in, a, in that in that position. So we, we wish him all the best, and um, it does knock a, knock it out yeah because those lads are there seeing someone in a in a difficult position. So you know probably half time could have come then really. The, the rest of the half was was really nothing. I think both sides were affected by it, and uh, but we came out the second half and really wanted to sort of play on the front foot and put the pressure on them and we knew that, that you know, they, they come here for a point, they come here to try and get something out of the game and that made it difficult for us. Um, but we kept on going and, and, and finally got the result. So all in all, delighted, you know, we, we wish the, the two boys who got injured the best because they were they were bad ones. And, you know, the first one was a real a real egg on his eye, it came up straight away, it, was, it looked really painful. So um, yeah. Yeah, we hope they, hope they recover all right. But even with how many players out, you've still got options. You had, as you said, Nabi Diallo came in for his first start in midfield. Dan Fitchett really hassling and harrying, leading the line when he came on. It's, you've, yeah, there are players who are, who are doing a, a really good job from the fringes. Well, that's, and that's key. You know, I think that, that they're sitting there waiting, biding their time. They know that if they come on and don't perform and don't work as hard as the ones that are starting, then they're not going to get a chance again. So it, it means that they've, they've got to come on and contribute. And, you know, the, the lads that haven't been playing have, have worked really, really hard in training to make sure that they're ready and you know can go at the, the tempo that we want to go. And that was what we said at half time. Like if you can give us 60, 70 minutes, do it. Like don't leave anything out there. Don't you know coast through. We've got players that are more than happy to come on. And you give me everything you got. Need to come off. Then so be it. You know. And, and that was the case with Andre and and Brett. You know, Brett after 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 Wednesday night. You know, did well to get through the, as long as he did. And Nabby gave us everything he had, so you can't you can't fault the lads. You know they're they're honest boys, they're good to work with. You know there's, there's mistakes that are made, but you know you now got a product on the pitch that are given their everything and, and have got all intensity to the play. And, and it's no coincidence we're picking up better results. And, and you know no one gets anything by being you know don't, no one gets given anything in life. You got to work really hard for it and. Uh, they do that Monday to Friday and that's when they get their rewards on a Saturday when they put that into practice and they have done. And now attention turns to the to the cut replay. The confidence around here is 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 high and a big occasion, massive occasion on Wednesday. Yeah, it was really important today, really, really important that we followed up Wednesday because um, then we can enjoy Wednesday and uh, you know there's no reason why we can't go and you know, cause an upset and, and do what we did down there. You know, they've had a poor result today, we've watched that game. Um, you know, and hopefully we will have a few bodies back and give us a few more options and be a big occasion. From what I hear, the, the tickets are going really well, and you know, I think that it's an opportunity for the club after everything that's happened in the last 18 months to to show what they're what they're about and what we're about as a club by supporting us in numbers and and getting behind the team and, and showing what a big occasion it can be. And uh, you know, we're really looking forward to it.